Researchers at the University of Toronto and British Columbia are analyzing blood from paramedics in Ottawa. They're trying to determine how many have developed antibodies to COVID-19. It's part of a larger study across Ontario and British Columbia. Robin Miller has more. Since the pandemic began, paramedics have been on the front line, often performing life-saving medical procedures on patients who may or may not be COVID positive. Confined spaces and often unpredictable work environments put them at risk. But out in the field, paramedics are often performing these tasks on the floor or sometimes even in more awkward um, conditions as that. Tracy Kirkham is a primary investigator on the study. She says close to 900 paramedics in Ontario have volunteered to participate, including about 35 in Ottawa. They're being asked to complete surveys and give blood samples three times over a one-year period. We're really hoping we can identify what increases and decreases the risk of infection um, and also learn how paramedic risk may compare to other occupations. The study will examine how many paramedics have antibodies to the virus in their system and how those antibodies got there, through the actual virus or from the vaccine. Then researchers will combine that data with information about the kind of protective equipment they were using and what medical procedures they were part of. The goal is to determine how they got infected and if it could have been prevented. The participation in this research is going to be really instrumental in helping organizations like the ambulance service providers and municipalities, uh, as well as politicians, to make informed decisions that are evidence-based in the development of health and safety guidelines that will protect paramedic health and in turn, you know, optimize patient outcomes. And then you're in and out in 15 minutes. Researchers are still looking for volunteers and promoting the study on social media. They plan to open up eligibility to paramedics in Alberta, Saskatchewan and Manitoba in coming weeks. Robin Miller, CBC News, Ottawa.